for our scripture reading today, let us uh, go over Revelation 14, 6 to 13. Revelation 14, 6 to 13. And uh, read for us Revelation six, uh, fourteen six to thirteen. Revelation fourteen verses six to thirteen. And I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to those who dwell on the earth, to every nation, tribe, tongue, and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God. And give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment has come. And worship him who has made who made heaven and earth, the sea and the springs of, wa of water. And another angel followed, it, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she has made all the nations drink of the wine of her, the wrath of her fornication. And then a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, Anyone who worships the beast in his image and receives his mark on his forehead or on his hand, he himself shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever, and they have no rest day or, no, or night, who worship the beast in his image, and whoever receives the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are those who keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, Right, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works follow them. Amen. Amen. So, uh, okay, let's read one more just to be... I think let's let's do it one at a time instead of let's let's do let's uh, dissect this first. All right, uh, it, it, this is uh, fine. And the title for the sermon is uh, "Faithful Christianity," or we can say "Faithful Christians." And the passage we just read. Uh, gives us an indication of what God is asking all Christians, what he wants us to do, who we are and what we are supposed to do, what will happen. And we know what is already happening in the world today. Uh, uh, everyone is being gripped with fear. Fear of a disease, fear of uh, uh, dying, fear of so many different things. But what does the scripture tell us? Here, if we think about Revelation, we find that it is filled with many prophetic uh, messages that we need to pay attention to. The world is being gripped by so many different things. But when the Lord Jesus Christ was also prophesying about the end times, he warned us to be faithful, that he who is faithful to the end uh, will be saved. Saved meaning that, well, are you faithful to the end when your faith is being tested? Are you going to say, oh, well, uh, I give up or I give in? The question is that what God has given to us, he wants us to hold on to it faithfully. So uh, we'll get to what the Lord Jesus Christ said in uh, Luke but as we go over this, verse 6, Revelation 
14, 6 says, And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. The everlasting gospel is already available to all mankind in different tongues, in different areas, in all the world, so to speak. So if God's word is already available to everybody and he's already given us the instructions and the commandments as to what to do, do we want to say that we don't know? That is the question we have. Faithful Christianity or faithful Christians. Verse 7 says, saying, which is the uh, angel is proclaiming. And we can, when we say the angel, it can be anybody because we know all the gospel has gone around and everybody has heard about it in one way, shape or form. Either through the radio, through uh, television or books or WhatsApp or uh, Facebook or all the media that is being used. Verse 7 says, saying with a loud voice. Fear God. What are we afraid of nowadays? Are we not afraid of the virus? People are afraid of the virus. And God is saying, fear God. And give glory to him. For the hour of his judgment is come. God's judgment is being revealed to us every day. And it's affecting everyone. The question is that, Will we remain faithful Christians? Will our Christianity be faithful to the end? God is saying, fear God and give glory to him, irrespective of what is happening. Of course, you can only fear God when you have the peace of God, the love of God. You have surrendered your life. If your life is not yet surrendered to Christ, then you are afraid of all these things that may happen. And of course, one other thing we should also clarify is that some people always think that when things are happening, um, they just want to uh, go about and act as if there is no cause for alarm. And for that reason, what should they do? They should just be singing, uh, you know, uh, inspiring songs or uh, things. You know, with the situation that is going on around the world, people are just singing inspiring songs. And some people are just singing that, oh, don't worry, don't worry, be happy, just go about and do things that you need to do. Without helping them to know that what has happened is, a result, is as a result of sin. And for that reason, we have to go to God. We have to fear God. We have to ask God to help us. So when the angel is proclaiming that we should fear God, it means go back to God. Go back and serve God. Look, examine your life. Examine your ways. Are you really faithful Christians? Or are you just in Christianity in name only? Are you just professing that, oh, I'm a Christian, but you are not actually doing what you're supposed to do? For the hour of his judgment is come. And worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. So we are being called that the only person you should be afraid of is God. That's what the Lord Jesus Christ said. Fear him who is able to, you know, kill and also put you in the lake of fire. So if we don't have our obedience to God's will, right? If we are not faithfully following him, if we are not doing what he says, then uh, we need to be careful about examining our lives. The requirement is that, yes, people think that there's no need uh, to seek God, to pray to God, but we know it is necessary. Verse 8 and there followed another angel, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, 
that great city because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication.